Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. So, I was asked by no one to see if I could test some of the 5 8 inch ballistic glass I have here on my Humvee. Now I told you in this video here, I showed you the different types of glass that can go in the windshields from 3 8 to like 3 inches. Well anyways, I want to know how much ballistic capabilities this 5 8 inch glass has. So what I got, I have some door glass. So this here is a 3 8 inch glass. You can see the frame's not very thick. It's just regular. Some people call it 3 8 inch ballistic glass. I don't think there's anything ballistic about 3 8 inch glass. But, so we got this 5 8 inch glass here. You can see from my pinky, the frame is much thicker. So, so we're going to try out and uh, see what this ballistic glass can take. So we're going to try like a 9 mil 40 handgun and see if it'll hold up to a 223. Doubt it, but let's try it. Hang tight, let me get everything ready. I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, I had to take a few days off. The weather got really bad. It's a little windy today, so I apologize about the wind noise. But uh, I got 3 8 inch glass set up back there, Humvee door glass. Just to show you, it has no ballistic capabilities. So, I'm going to shoot that with two guns today. I'm going to shoot it with an H&K 40. The rounds are 180 grain, full metal jacket. Then I'm going to shoot it with an EAA Witness 9mm. And these are 115 grain, full metal jacket. On the 5 8 inch glass, I'll use my Caltech Sub 9, 9mm. These are cool little guns, little backpack guns, fold right in. This will give it a, the 9mm a little longer burn on it. And then I'll also shoot the 5 8 with the 40, the 9 hand, and also a 223. I'm not going to waste any time or rounds shooting the 3 8 with the 223. And I have some 55 grain full metal jacket rounds for the 223 here. So uh, let's get started. This is just a 9mm. Blew right through it. But I'm going to shoot the 40 at it anyways. We know it's going to go right through it. Let's do it. Well, and as you guys can see, of course the 40 went right through it. So, let's stop wasting our time with this 3 8 crap and uh, set up some 5 8 and see how that handles. All right, so I got the 5 8 set up. Um, this piece here is cracked. I have another one that's a full good piece, but I'm going to save that one for the 223. So, uh, just wanted you guys to know that this one does it, the first layer is cracked but uh, let's see how it holds up even with the piece of cracked uh, glass all right so did the nine millimeter hit kind of low but did not penetrate so and these are usually all also in a frame so I don't know if that's gonna make anything a little different you know say lower the ballistic capability because it's not held in a, tight in the frame I don't know but let's check out the back so it did mushroom it out right there but it did not go through so let's try the 40 might have gone through check that out right there there's a little piece on the back side of these glass and in between, usually they have a laminate. So it looks like there's a tiny little hole there. But it's hard to say. Might have gone through, might have not. I don't see any bullet fragments anywhere. And it didn't hit my target back here. My earlier shot did. Oh, wait a minute. We might have. This might be the 40 round that came through the glass. Let's try it one more time. All right, so 
right here you can still see some of the uh, the round the uh, full metal jack the jacket here you can still see the jacket and it did not penetrate it 40 round again I'm only shooting from right there it's pretty close like I said about 15 20 feet backside here you can see the laminate there bulging out it's not sharp or anything so it looks like the 5.8 will hold up to a 40 and a 9 mil handgun so now I'm gonna try and I doubt if it'll go through the Caltech sub 2000 Well, this glass is pretty eaten up, so it did go through. Right here, you can see. See my finger coming through there. Woo! So that one did come through. Looks like this other one came through too, the first round. Again, this, this glass is beat up pretty good, but it did stop the 40 and the nine millimeter the first time around. So not the second time again, Again, the glass was beat up pretty bad, but that's still pretty impressive for a 5 8 Not bad. So uh, let's put that new piece up and uh, see what the 223 does. I'm sure it's gonna go through it first round, but let's give it a try. And just as I thought, it went through it like butter. So the 5 8 inch, is not going to stop a 223 round nor an AK 7.62 it's just not going to happen that's going to blow right through it all right so if you want glass that's going to stop a 223 round you got to get this stuff that's about three inches thick i'll show you like i've showed you many times before i'll do one round in the middle show you how tough this stuff is again Safety on. well so as you guys can see this this three inch stuff this stuff can take a beating man I mean you've seen in the other videos uh, where we did a firing squad with some of my buddies and it eventually will go through it but it'll take one heck of a beating so on the back side here it didn't even go through it looks like it only it didn't even break the last pane of glass obviously nice and smooth no cracks so uh, my assessment on the uh, 5 8 inch glass is you got it'll stop a 9 mil you got a 50 50 chance on a 40 cal of course it depends on your distance you're away 223 nah I want to thank you guys again for watching hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll be back